What's up guys? So let's figure out what the difference between ZMA and melatonin are. This is part of our sleep stack, um, sleep aids, definitely two vital things for recovery, for muscle growth, for overall um, just hormone production and everything like rest and sleep are highly important. Um, Let's go with melatonin. Melatonin is a natural hormone that your body actually produces naturally. It releases it when it's um, dark outside to help you relax. So taking it in a pill form or powder will um, help give you more of that to help aid your natural production of it. So um, this is something you don't want to take like all the, like regularly because it will suppress your natural production of melatonin and normally it's recommended like one to three milligrams like ours is um, a three milligram the three milligrams of melatonin in one cap so that should be plenty you can assess your value there like how much you feel like you need because do watch taking too much of this you will um, wake up in the morning kind of feeling groggy not quite awake so you want to be um, conscious of that it will kind of stay with you a little bit but um very good product you can stack these so um that is total totally able to zma the main ingredient here here is um magnesium along with zinc and your b6 but magnesium is a nutrient that helps your body and tells your like central nervous system to calm down so it, like when you're taking it as a sleep aid you can take magnesium many different ways but when you're taking it um as a sleep aid like going into bed and being restful, it will help lower the cortisol levels, such as like, not on the level of ashwagandha will, but this will help um, lower just your whole central nervous system to just calm down. So that's what this helps and helps produce REM, deep REM sleep. So when you are sleeping, you're deeper, um, you're completely relaxed. And then the zinc also helps with um, testosterone production, which at night is a good thing. And then that's aiding in your recovery and muscle strength and muscle recovery, muscle growth, all that. So these two can be stacked. As to mention ashwagandha, this is also a good one too. You can stack this with these three. Um, this is a good thing to take at night anyway, because it's gonna help lower your cortisol levels and you're gonna be just in a more, you know, peaceful, balanced state. You don't wanna be like all strung out. Um, this is a good thing to keep in your uh, daily supplement routine. Uh, you can take it as much as twice a day. And you like, it's also in our um, Alpha EAA. So um, that's just, you can take them together. Just be aware of how much you're taking. You don't really wanna take too much, but it's not gonna like to hurt you. Um, I would avoid taking ashwagandha uh, before your workout, just, you don't want to be like you don't want your body like lowering its cortisol levels and then you're trying to work out and trying to exert everything you have so i would um i would advise against that i've done it I, i've taken it pre-workout i don't really like it because I, I notice it so um it's something to be aware of also too to stack with this absorb absorb you can take with everything and pretty much anything but um this will really help bring out the zinc and magnesium um, and ZMA. I do highly suggest these two together if you have one or the other of this stack. It just helps your body absorb all the nutrients to a much higher capability. And um, it is a good thing just to keep in there. It does have a 24 hour half life, so you don't need to like, you can take it twice a day, like with your pre workout. I highly recommend it with your pre workout. And then, um, with your uh, nighttime stuff it's a good thing to do going into bed going into your sleep you just want to make sure you're getting everything you got but um yeah so that's the difference here this is a nutrient magnesium zinc your nutrients melatonin is a natural hormone that your body produces and this aids your natural production of it so these two work in hand to help just lower your um your central nervous system, lower your body's cortisol levels, just your hormone production, just to put you in a more relaxed state and help you actually get rest and sleep. Because that's what we want. We want rest, sleep, 
to wake up the next morning feeling refreshed, feeling energetic, ready to go through the day, ready to hit the workout, feeling recovered, all that stuff. It all works together and that's it.